Hey everybody, Rich here. Since I've been doing my retro series, there's been some interest in other older operating systems by Microsoft. Someone already asked me, hey, can you do one on Windows 98? It's like, no, I've already done Windows 95. Windows 95 and Windows 98 are not too dissimilar from each other, other than the fact that Windows 98 has USB 2 support, where Windows 95 doesn't. And Windows 98 will support Internet Explorer 6, whereas 95 will only support up to IE 5.5. There's really not much I could show in Windows 98 that Windows 95 can't do. Now, another request I got, which was really interesting, hey, can you show Windows NT 4? Sure, I can do that one. Um, I'll, I'll excuse me, I'll dedicate a full video to that, but. For those of you that are thinking about Windows NT4, if you want to build a vintage PC, don't do it. NT4 is absolutely horrible for vintage PC use for the fact that it can't run any games or barely run any games. It won't run Firefox. Um, it's meant to be just a plain old workstation. If you use it as a server, a file server that is, oh, it does a fantastic job of that especially if you have NT Server Edition. But as far as much else, not really. Now, the biggest difference between 95 and Windows NT4 is that one is an actual NT operating system and the other one is DOS. Alex, I'll show both of them just real quick. Let me boot up Windows 95 here. This uh, particular Windows 95 I have here is uh, what I call a loaded 95 because I put all the stuff in it. Most stuff. Everything save for the plus pack, for those of you that know what that is. But I did put in the plus wallpaper. <laughs> this was one of the original plus pack wallpapers that came with the uh, Windows 95 plus pack back in the day. And here we go with Windows NT4. Now the only reason I installed it is to show it to you guys. I'm not going to use this and I plan on deleting this virtual machine later because it really does not serve me any good to have it except to waste hard drive space. <laughs> like I said, this is good for server use or as its intended purpose, um, workstation use. <sighs> not for much else. Unfortunately, <clears throat> this is NT Service Pack 6. Uh, there was actually a Service Pack 6A, but I couldn't get that one, so I just used 6. I purposely put different wallpapers on both these editions of Windows so you could see the difference, know which one I'm on at any given time. This is 95, this is NT. Now, at first glance, they look almost identical. This one. You know, same type of start menu. There's the Windows 95. And there's the one for NT. When you look at them, let me just move this here. When you look at them side by side, there's really not that much difference. It's what's underneath, so to speak, that's the big difference between NT and 95. Now, here's something that a lot of people, especially younger people, don't know. Windows 95 is technically not an operating system. It's called, it's an operating environment. NT, on the other hand, is an actual operating system edition of Windows. Now, the reason why Windows 95 and Windows 98 are not operating systems is because the actual operating system is DOS. More specifically, MS-DOS, as in Microsoft DOS. Why? because you can shut down and go into what they call MS-DOS mode. In NT, there is no such option because there is no MS-DOS. It does not exist in Windows NT, nor does it exist in Windows 2000, nor does it exist in XP, Vista, or 7 because it uses the NT architecture. There is no DOS, MS-DOS, in uh, NT-based Windows operating systems, but you do have it in Windows 95 and 98. That is why it is such a good uh, DOS, is such a good operating system for playing DOS games. 
if you're going to build a vintage PC, it, specifically to run DOS games, the best way to run them is in DOS, not an emulated DOS, a real DOS. And like I said in a previous video, Windows 95, 98 does have DOS 7. And all the DOS stuff is in a directory, as soon as I load it up here, called command under the directory windows. So if you do a directory listing, you'll say, hey, that looks a lot like DOS, uh, DOS executables. It's because it is. Just go back here. So everything in C Windows command in the Windows 95 and 98 operating environment, that is actually MS-DOS 7. Now in Windows NT, on the other hand, even in Windows NT, there isn't even a directory called Windows in NT. It's just WinNT. And if I go into WinNT, there is no command directory. This is all native Windows environment. Now, it's important to know the difference between the two if you're building a vintage PC, because it is true that Windows 98 and Windows NT4 are only one year apart from each other. Windows 95 was obviously released in 1995, and Windows NT was in 1996. Now there have been, uh, I think something like eight service packs released for uh, Windows NT. Now I know some of you people saying that's not true, there are only six. No, that's not true either because there was 6A and then I think there was 3A or something like that. So you have to count those little subsets. There are something like seven or eight service packs for Windows NT. Even if you have all the service packs in it, it really doesn't matter because uh, even in a vintage PC, Windows NT, aside from being a file server, is largely unusable. First of all, uh, the biggest problem with NT is trying to get plug and play to work on it. Plug and play in Windows NT is a nightmare. Anyone that's ever used NT Workstation 4.0 knows exactly what I'm talking about. If you try to put in a USB or even a sound card, there's a lot of manual driver install stuff. The It does have plug and play detection in it. It barely works. It just does not work that well. This is why when Windows 2000 came out, it was such a godsend uh, for business because it you could finally install an NT-based Windows on a laptop and it would recognize PICMA cards, PCMCIAs, card bus cards with minimal issue. It worked out great. If you've ever tried to reinstall a card bus card on a... Uh, a laptop where the operating system was NT4, yeah, that was going to be a pain in the butt to do. Windows 95, ironically, actually detected things better than NT4 did, <laughs> even though it was DOS. So anyway, uh, just in closing, you can restart an MS-DOS mode, which more or less means exit Windows. It just, or actually not exit Windows, it means uh, don't load Windows on boot. So we are in DOS. Now if I took everything in the command directory and did a copy wildcard and made a directory called CDOS and then deltried the Windows directory, this, uh, this operating system would work because it is DOS. You don't need Windows to run DOS. And you can do that. Now if you, on the other hand, deleted the WinNT directory, your computer's screwed because you just deleted your whole operating system when you did that. So um, my recommendation for building a vintage PC is if you going with the choice between Windows NT, Windows 2000, Windows 95, or Windows 98, 95 and 98 are the MS-DOS based um, operating systems, while NT and 2000 are obviously NT based operating systems. If you want the one that plays more games, which is pretty much the reason why anyone builds a vintage PC to begin with. Windows 95 and Windows 98 are the better of the two. It is true that it's not as stable as NT and 2000. That, I don't dispute that. NT and two, the NT architecture is much more stable. It's much less crash happy compared to 95 and 98. But 95 and 98 have more games. That's why that's the one I recommend. Anyway, I'll have a dedicated video to NT Workstation in the near future, so watch for that. Take it easy.